let's bring up the wonderful world of wizardry and let's bring up the magic mapping parchment fantastic all right whiz kids let's get down to wizness here a quick update or two before we get to Gilgamesh's. I've noticed that the uh, Magic Mapping Parchment installment tutorial video has a number of views. Now, nothing through the roof or anything. We're not talking about hundreds of thousands of views or anything. We're talking about hundreds of views. Um, which is, for this series, uh, it might as well be 100,000 views. Anyway, um, the reason why I bring it up is because if, if any of you are actually using the Magic Mapping Parchment to play Wizardry, and you notice that, I think I've mentioned this in a previous video, but if you notice a bug, you notice a flaw, you notice some issue, um, and hopefully if you're, you're not asking for a serious upgrade here, um, as far as issues go, if you notice a bug, though, um, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not going to uh, recode the whole thing, but I will fix bugs. Um, if you notice that, you know, there's something that should be fixed, just in my, in my latest video for this series, leave me a comment. Uh, give me an idea what floor, um, what, sorry, what level of the maze the bug is on um, and it's it's very likely if you are using the magic mapping parchment uh, that you'll whiz ahead of me progress wise here and finish the game I think um, I think that it's been like two and a half years now this series where does the wizardry time go anyway so if you're whizzing ahead of me and you're getting you know down to the ninth and tenth level and you notice that there's a bug, let me know in the latest video here and I'll try and fix it. Um, yeah, I think I think everything up to the seventh level is pretty solid and stable, but you know, if, if I'm wrong about that and you do notice some area of the maze that I didn't get to that has a, a bug in it, again, same deal. Uh, leave me a comment in the most recent video in this series and that will uh, hopefully get taken care of. And um, on a, uh, a more real world, excuse me, real world note, um, I'm roasting beets on my grill. That's right, roasting beets on my grill. So I may have to stop this video uh, every now and then and make sure they're not turning into little charred pieces of vegetable. Okay. Um, Let's get into Gilgamesh's and get this adventuring session started. And I guess the best way to do that is to see if anybody's ready to level. Ryan Miller, Run DMCA, Gnome de Plume, Band Mike Bossy, Snarkesian, and Elevator. Okay, um, just want to look at Elevator's spell uh, list here for a second read mage spells Masopic um, she has she does have Memorlis I rarely if ever use that I should I should use that more often I believe that is that's a fear spell that's all groups of monsters so you don't have to worry about picking um, you know which group of monsters if you're fighting multiple groups of monsters I think that may affect all of them that's the reason why I it's could be effective because I'm on the eighth level now and um, we may get we may meet up with monsters that are you know uh, above our pay grade so to speak um, but the other thing is if they are high in level maybe Memorlis They'll resist the the spell so but you know I, I'm just I, I seem to be using uh, um, Masopic and Modalto those are like the only two spells I use anymore and 
Um, I forget what Lacanito does. Um, Lacanito. Um, let me let me check the spell list real quick. That that may be one I should be using. Lacanito is that is one group of monsters. And Lacanito kills all monsters affected by this spell. Some monsters are immune. Okay, so that's a suffocation spell. All right, that's something to keep in mind. That's um, that's a good one. And uh, Haman's one of those weird ones that I'll probably never use. That's uh, random effects. And casting it reduces your character's level by one. Yeah, that's the problem with Haman or Haman or whatever you want to call it there whatever you're supposed to say that and Zilwan I believe is just a uh, that's an undead dispelling yeah or no it destroys one undead monster okay so if that it's it's got in the under the um, type of spell it is it says dispel but the description says it destroys them um, if you you know if you dispel monsters um, you tend to not get experience for them anyway so, so Zilwan and Lacanito and uh, Mamorlis are probably spells I should use more often, or at all, because I never use them. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, let's get into, let's get into the Adventurer's Inn and see if anybody's ready to level. Leave Gilgamesh's, enter the Adventurer's Inn, and Ryan Miller... He is napping, and he needs a bazillion more experience points to level. And run the MCA. He needs a significant number, 30,000 more experience points. Oops, didn't want to back all the way out of the Adventurer's in. Gnome de Plume. Let's see if he's ready to level. He needs a bazillion more experience points, so no... Um, Band Mike Bossy. Now, I think he's ready to level here. No. Why did I get that impression? <laughs> 64. Okay. Because he's, I guess, just basically because he changed his class and he, he always seems like he's about to level. All right. So, let's see if Snarkeesian is ready to level. Nope. And uh, Elevator. We pretty much know she's not ready to level, but it's worth uh, seeing how many experience points. Yeah, she needs a bazillion more. Okay. Um, let's get to the edge of town and let's get into the maze. And we will have Bam Mike Bossy cast our favorite spell. Uh, Porphic, and I almost wanted to spell Masopic because uh, I've been thinking about that spell. Okay, um, let's leave camp. And we will not take the stairs back up, and there it is, the wonderful Proving Grounds. Let's head down to the dreaded 8th level. Elevators having, uh, uh, experiencing tremors of fear right now. Alright, let's head down to the 8th level. A first level encounter. We surprise the two undead kobolds. Fight, fight, fight. Parry, parry, parry. Undead kobold is killed. Killed. All right. We'll collect our 76 experience points and eight gold pieces and continue down to the eighth level. All right. Here we are. And we've got to take the winding passage here to get back to where elevator blew up going from one edge of the map to the other and wondering if we're going to encounter anything eighth level encounter uh, there we go two master thieves that we surprised okay let's fight 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 parry 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 Master Thief is killed. Eight damage. Master Thief is killed. All right, nice. 320 experience points. 
and a chest, a chest, excuse me, which hopefully doesn't have uh, a Mage Blaster in it. All right. Calfo, Gnome de Plume, Alarm. All right. Inspect. Snarkeesian. Alarm. All right. They agree. Now, I don't remember the circumstances of Elevator blowing up last episode, but did they not both agree on what uh, the trap was? <laughs> anyway, let's have uh, Snarkeesian disarm. Disarm the alarm. Disarm the trap. Nice. And the shield. Okay. And armor. Very nice. And 66 gold pieces each. All right. Let's uh, leave the encounter window. Let's get into camp. And let's look at Ben Mike Bossy. He will identify that armor. Identified it. Plate mail plus two. Now, I should know this, but I don't know if my fighters already have plate mail plus two. That is really exciting if they don't. Okay, so let's uh, leave Bam Bike Bossy's uh, inventory and take a look at Ryan Miller. He has plate mail plus one. Mm. All right, let's look at Run DMCA. He has regular old plate mail. Really? And I guess that's because I gave him the shield plus. All right, so nobody has plate mail. Wow, this is exciting. All right, so uh, let's, let's look at Ryan Miller again. Let's have him trade with Ben Mike Bossy. No gold. He is going to trade his equipped plate mail. Uh, no, he's not. He's going to trade the Key of Bronze. Uh, so let's trade again with Van Mike Bossy. No gold. He's going to trade number eight, the Key of Bronze. And then we're going to look at Van Mike Bossy. He is going to trade with Ryan Miller. No gold. He is going to trade that shiny new plate mail plus two. And then we're going to go back to Ryan Miller. And he is going to equip Slayer of Dragons, Plate Mail plus two, Shield plus one, the Helm, Gloves of Copper, and his armor class is dropped by one. All right, so now he can trade with, I'll tell you what, he should just trade with uh, Elevator, I think, um, and give her the Plate Mail plus one. And... And then, oh, no, wait, he was supposed to give that to, uh, he was supposed to give that to Run DMCA, but that's okay, because I think, uh, let's look at Run DMCA, um, he is going to trade with Ban Mike Bossy, and no gold, he is going to trade the Blue Ribbon, and then, um, Elevator is going to trade with him. She is going to give Run DMCA the plate mail plus one. Oops, nope. She's not going to give him gold. She's going to give him plate mail plus one. Okay, we're going to go back to Run DMCA, and he is going to equip. He's going to equip um, longsword plus two, plate mail plus one, shield plus one, helm plus one, gloves of copper. All right, so they both have the same armor class now, and that's, I guess, because he's got a helm plus one, and Ryan Miller does not. He's got a regular old helm, and that must be why I gave Run DMCA the regular plate mail, and yada, yada, yada. Doesn't matter. Okay, so he's going to trade with Elevator, and no gold. He's going to trade his old crappy plate mail, his old tarnished, scratched plate mail, and technically, isn't it plate and mail? Um, and D and D has just made us all say plate mail. Um, in other words, it's plate over chain mail, pretty much. Um, but anyway, anybody, all three of you who watch this, one if one of you really knows that, you can correct me. Okay, so he has. Um, 
he's done what he's need to do, right? He needed to do. So uh, let's look at Gnome de Plume. And he will trade with Ryan Miller. No gold. He's going to give him back the, what was it, the Key of Silver? I can't remember. Blue Ribbon came for it. Doesn't really matter, does it? Give him something back. Give him back the Key of Silver. There you go. And that's it. He will uh, also give... Uh, he'll trade again with... Oops. He will trade with Run DMCA. And no gold. He will give him back the um, uh, blue ribbon. Right? There you go. Okay. Now, somebody has a shield. And I'm going to guess that's Snarkeesian. Right? Oh, she has a shield and a potion that she needs. Okay, so... She needs to trade with Bam Like Bossy. She uh, needs to trade number six. Oops, nope. She needs to trade number six and number six again. Oops, he's full. Nope, can't can't take it. <laughs> All right, so let's look at Gnome Plume. He is going to oh, not Gnome no Plume. Bam Like Bossy. He is going to identify number eight, and that's going to be. A uh, potion of Dios. Okay, so he's going to trade that back to Snarkeesian. No gold. He's going to trade number eight, potion of Dios. Wonderful. And uh, then we'll get back to Snarkeesian, who will trade with him. With Bam Like Bossy. He's, she will trade the shield. Oops, keep doing that. Keep trying to give him gold. All right, so now we go back to Bam Like Bossy. And he is going to identify that shield. It's going to be a plus two shield, right? Right? Large shield. Okay, that's crap. Uh, we will give that to... First of all, we're going to give... Oh, we gave the Potion of Theos to... Uh, to... Snark easy. We're going to trade with Elevator. And we're going to give her the large shield. Now why does it seem like Bam Like Bossy has just too much stuff? Um, well, doesn't matter. Okay, no gold. Uh, number eight. And let's give a blue ribbon to Elevator. That way he has two uh, slots in his inventory to identify stuff. Okay. Great. Now, get out of camp. And continue on our way here, which means if we go back to the uh, an encounter, we are heading back to that. Um, uh oh, they surprised us. But our fighters have uh, a better armor class now, so there's that. Okay, they are missing. Very nice. Ogre lords. That's not so nice. Okay, so fight. Fight, fight. Um, uh, do we want to? Do we want to? Hmm. Ban Mike Bossy. You're going to fight. <clears throat> um, Snarkeesian can use an item. And that's going to be Bad Dios, right? There we go. Now, Elevator. What do we want Elevator to do? Um, I don't think we need... Well, we could try the Lacanito just to... It's overkill here. Um, but we, we need to know what level... Like, get a general idea of what level of monster it affects. So, let's go with Lacanito. And... Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Five damage. Oh, the Elker with the Catino. Oh, man. Is everybody asleep? Pretty much. Darkeesian's like, hopefully not. Elevate. Everybody's asleep. <laughs> Polito, three damage. You know, I think if I tried to cast Catino on them, they would resist it. It just seems to me. But anyway. Ooh, man. Those Molitos are deadly there, aren't they? 10 damage, we're gonna die to Ogre Lords. Okay, so we have four characters asleep. Bam Like Bossy's going to fight. 
Uh, yeah, I tell you what, he better go with a um, Lido Con here. Oops, and I better spell it right. Lido Con, we better crank it up a notch. <clears throat> Now, did she use her item or not? No, she fell asleep and didn't get a chance to use her item. Okay. Elevator spell, and I better not mess around here. I better get right to the Medalto. Okay. Uh, Bandios, <laughs> one damage. 17 damage, nine damage, 15 damage, 16 damage, 13 damage. Our Lord is killed by Modalto. Killed. 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 Okay. Well, we tried to see what Lacanito would do, but they, uh, they were a little tougher with the Catino than I thought they would be. Okay. So, uh, Gnome de Plume, Calfo, who is asleep. So it better be a <laughs> bossy alarm. Okay. Sarkeesian is not asleep, so she will inspect... And um, she is third in the order now. Alarm, alarm again. Okay, so disarm Snarkeesian, your one jab. Alarm, disarm the trap, nice. Found another shield. Okay, and 60 gold pieces. All right, let's get into camp and reorder and heal everybody. Okay, everybody is healed, and Band Mike Bossy has identified that shield they got, and it's a crappy small shield, so he's going to trade that with Elevator. Let's put it in her inventory. No gold, number seven. Okay. And now we can get out of camp. I did, I did use a pretty significant amount of his um, spell points, as you can see there. Um, but we're going to forge ahead here because 8th um, level is just going to, uh, it's going to take forever if we keep uh, going back to the castle. This, this long stretch of hallway and all the doors and all the encounters that are likely to happen. You know, it's always, oh, you know what I never did? Let's, um, let's get into camp. I never cast Lo Milwa and I hope I have the, hope and Mike Bossy has the uh, spell points for it. There we go. Okay, let's get out of camp. And now we can see far... Oops, we are in the encounter window and I believe we are now out of sync. <laughs> so, let me uh, get us back into sync here. I think that should do it. Okay, so, yeah, let's forge ahead. Yes, we are now in sync. Wonderful. And here it is. Approaching the uh, the maze square of doom. An encounter again. We gotta watch if we one in man in armor. We gotta watch if we uh, if we get a chest here. Alright, so fight, fight, fight. Uh parry, parry, parry. And armor is killed. All right, Run DMCA was—he uh, was all fired up there. 356 experience points and a chest. All right, so gnome to blue. Let's get it together here. Three poison needle. Okay. Let's see what Snarkeesian says it is. Inspect. Teleporter. Okay. <laughs> We don't want to get teleported on the 8th level. We just don't. So, um, Calfo. And that's going to be Ban Mike Bossy this time. Te he says it's teleporter and Snarkeesian says it's teleporter. So, let's disarm. Please, Snarkeesian. Please. Teleporter, do not screw this up. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, well, we... Good thing, before we got teleported, we got some armor and some gold pieces, and we have no idea where we are. Oh, damn it. Okay, so let me get out of the encounter. <laughs> oh, that maze square is just... That's... 
Oh crap. Okay, so let's get into camp. The, the May scare is just the uh, what's what's the French term? Bête noire, or I I don't know the the Achilles heel of uh, team uh, impending doom. It, it's the square of impending doom. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> let's look at uh, elevator. She is going to cast. Um, She's going to cast Doom Epic. Alright, so we are uh, on the 8th level still. That's good to know. And we are uh, 15 east, 12 north, north facing east. So, let's, um, for some reason, the uh, magic mapping parchment is in camp. Let's leave camp. Let's get into the teleporter um, window. The magic mapping parchment. Eight. Uh, okay, so 15 east. That will be uh, 15 in the X selection and 12 north. All right. Okay. And we are facing east. Oh. Thank the gods, we're not that far away. So we're facing east, east excuse me, and uh, let's get out of camp here. We got very lucky there. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe lucky. All right, so um, I wonder if the, uh, well, all, all we really used up was uh, a couple calfos and then two I guess we can uh, we can try to head back to that square and see what happens here. Um, okay, so let's let's give it a try. Can I get? Can I finally get past that damn May square? <sighs> Another encounter. Okay. Earth giant. Oh no! And he's surprised that he's gonna like crush somebody, isn't he? He missed. Oh. This is the toughest maze square in all of the maze so far. It's amazing. All right, fight, fight, fight. Spell, Bamatu. Right? Um, Snarkesian, does she... She just has like a crappy uh, um, Dios potion or something. So she's going to parry. Spell, okay. So what do we do here? Um, let's... let's uh, I'm not going to be able to... Not going to be able to... Let's go with Mahalito. Oh, that's crappy. I, I got to use a Medalto. He's going he's gonna to end up like crushing somebody. All right. So he resists. Wow. Wow. All right. He's missing. 27 damage. Earth Giant is killed. Oh, all right. Yes, Papa. Two for no. That's all right. Um, 35, 3,400 experience points. <laughs> I'm almost, I'm tempted to just leave the thing alone. Oh, crap. <laughs> right. Calpho Gnome de Plume, Priest Blaster. All right, so that would be, he would he would get his own uh, comeuppance there. It would hit him. He's the only priest in the party. Okay, so um, Inspect, Snarkesian, Exploding Box. Oh, damn it. All right, so another Calpho. And that's going to be um, Ban Mike Bossy, Priest Blaster. Okay, so we've got two Calfos that agree here. Um, let's <laughs> snark easy and disarm. Priest Blaster. <laughs> I don't believe it. We actually disarmed a trap. 108 gold pieces. All right. I, I think I re don't I have I I picked up something like armor or so, something before we got teleported, um, but I just want to get off this damn maze square. All right, so let's go to the right, and there is a door to our left and a hallway to our right. Um, all right, let's get into camp real quick here. Let's inspect. Bam, Mike Bossy. He did not pick it up. Who? Paid? It must have been Snarkesian. Um, or did I imagine it? Elevator? Did I imagine that we picked up armor? Am I? I'm 
like imagining stuff now. Or maybe I already identified it. I don't know. Let's look at Gnome de Plume. No, no, he has two sets of, really, two sets. I keep thinking his inventory is maxed out. That's why I never look at his inventory. I'm such a knucklehead. Okay, so trade with Ban Mike Bossy and uh, no gold. You're going to trade number eight and number seven. And we're going to get back to Ban Mike Bossy here. And he is going to identify number seven. And it is leather plus two. Very nice. So he's got something for himself there. I like it. He's going to identify number eight. Don't have a clue. He's going to identify number eight. Don't have a clue. <laughs> okay. Identified it. Plate mail plus one. Okay. So we're going to have to sell that because no one else can wear it. And... I don't think no. Pam Mike Bossy can't wear it. I'm pretty sure that if I if I give it to Gnome de Plume, I don't think he's going to be it. Let's just give it to Gnome de Plume and see what happens. Um, plate mail plus one. He's not going to. He's not going to be able to. <clears throat> excuse me. Wear that. That is not going to happen. All right. So now he needs to equip mace plus one, leather plus two, small shield, and rod of flame. Okay. Great. Um, now let's get to Gnome de Plume, who is not going to be able to wear the plate mail. I knew that, but just checking. He's got his cold chain mail. Why would he? It's probably the same armor class anyway. All right, now that we, let's leave camp. Now that we've got past our, I've got so much junk, I got to go back and sell it. Um, and I do need this spell points back. Um, we finally got past our the square of doom. All right, I better head back up to the castle here and um, try to uh, sell some of this stuff and get Ban Mike Bossy's spell points back. Nobody got injured in that last battle, did they? No. All right, so let's head back up to the castle. Okay, we're back in the castle, and we want to head to Ball Tax, and I forget who has what. Uh, I know... Pretty sure Gnome de Plume has something to sell here. Yeah, the plate plus one and 750 gold pieces. I would figure you'd get a little more for that, but that's all right. And that is everything he has to sell. Let's look at uh, Band Mike Bossy. I think he's got some leather plus one to sell. Yes, so number two. That was set. How is plate plus one the same price as leather plus one? Ah, uh, Baltac, you've got some screwy pricing uh, uh, system or something going on. All right, let's look at Snarkeesian. Oops, let's look at Snarkeesian. Now, if she doesn't have anything to sell, what she needs to do... Uh, she can sell that crappy Dios. I don't think... Potion of Dios. I don't think that's going to do her any, or the party any good. Okay, now what she needs to do, though, is she needs to buy... She needs to buy... Um, some kind of items for um, a lot of Mophies. That's interesting. Uh, for is it worth getting Katino and having her? You know what? It, I bet you. I mean, if Katino affects us, it's only fair that it affects. Oops, I need to purchase. It's only fair that it affects high-level monsters as well. I mean, we're pretty high in level. We're not, you know, Team Impending Doom isn't. They're no longer a total pushover, but um, yeah, all right. we have Holito, Bad Dios. Let's just go with uh, Holito, right? Now, does she, can she buy anything else? It'd be nice if she could buy another Holito. Okay, so yeah, she had uh, she had another um, uh, slot in her inventory for that. Okay. So she's done. Now it's elevator. Let's see what she has to sell, if anything. Yes, she has a small shield to sell, number eight. Um, a large shield to sell, number six. And plate mail to sell, number five. And that's it, unless I want to get finally get rid of some of the keys and the blue ribbons. I don't know why I carry them around. Um, I got this like uh, fear that if I get rid of them, I won't be able to get past, uh, won't be able to use the express elevator on level four, and 
that kind of stuff. But um, I think uh, I think once you once you enter it, you don't need the blue ribbon to uh, get back past it. All right, so <clears throat> that should be everybody selling stuff at Gilgamesh's. Or, sorry, Baltex. Let's get into Gilgamesh's and let's divvy gold. So everybody, nobody gets jealous about who has more gold. And uh, excuse me a moment. I need to check on my roasted beets. All right, they're not quite finished yet. They do need about another 10 or 15 minutes. They're still a little hard. They need to be nice and soft like a baked potato. Right. Uh, let's head to, head to the edge of town and get back into the maze and have Bam Mike Bossy with his newly um, uh, refurbished spell points cast Mas Ma Porpik. And I keep wanting to call it Masopic now for some reason. Okay. And he will wait to cast Low Milwa until we are down on the uh, eighth level. All right. Let's head to it. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get past that dreaded square. The square of impending doom. Uh, and uh, this, these two doors usually have encounters for us, don't they? Another encounter. Three gaze hounds. Okay, so fight, 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 and nobody surprised anyone. So, Bam Mike Bossy is going to fight um, Snarkeesian. Does she need to use? I tell you what, because she's going to use she's going to use Katino on them. Um, she's going to use Holito on them. The reason why she's going to do that is because Elevator is going to try Lacanito again here and see what happens. Okay, Geese Hound is killed. Lacanito slain. Slain. Very nice. Okay, great. Yes, Alito for no reason. That's okay. And so much for the Gaze Hound. 700, or 617 experience points. A Calfo, a chest that needs to be Calfoed. That's going to be Gnome de Plume. Poison Needle. Inspect Snarkeesian. Poison Needle. Very nice. Disarm Snarkeesian. Poison Needle. Could not disarm it. Does that mean I didn't, didn't trigger it, though? Right? Okay. And disarm. Come on, Snarkeesian. Poison needles are, like, so first level. Come on. Disarm the trap. Very nice. Found a sword. All right. Wonderful. And elevator got a potion and 66 gold pieces. All right. We got to get into camp anyway because we need to cast Low Milwa. So let's get into camp. And uh, Bam Mike Bossy cast Low Milwa. And then we need Gnome de Plume to trade with him. Trade with Bam Mike Bossy. No gold. Trade number seven. And get back to. We might as well look at Elevator. She might as well trade with Bam Mike Bossy real quick. Because he should have two inventory slots. Uh, six. Okay, great. Let's look at Bam Mike Bossy. And inspect. Number eight. Don't have a clue what the potion is. Inspect number eight. Identified it. Potion of Sopic. All right, he will trade that with Snarkeesian. No gold. Oops. What am I doing here? Hitting the wrong key. No gold. Number eight. Great. Now he's going to identify number seven. Identified it. A crappy short sword. Okay, so he's going to trade that with Elevator. And free up some of his in inventory uh, spaces. Okay, great. Let's get out of camp. And make a left turn here. Another encounter. Friendly group of champ samurai. Okay, we will... Uh, shake hands and leave. All right, and now we're on the hallway that takes us to the door that takes us to the dreaded square. <laughs> okay, another encounter here. Shocking, I tell you. 
Okay, a friendly group of level 10 fighters. We will let them go as well. Okay, now we have a choice here. Is it the door or is it the hallway? Um, really... Uh, let's... Doors almost certainly mean encounters. Let's explore some more here. Well, not that hallway squares can't scare up an encounter, but... Um, We need, we need to cover some ground. I do have light going, right? Um, okay, so this is a dead-end hallway. All right, that can happen. Um, sure. Well, Milwa was not showing us a door there. And the magic mapping parchment wasn't either. Okay, let's try this door. No encounter. And another long hallway. Okay, so it's just running parallel to that dead-end hallway. Okay, and that's right, it's going to have to uh, uh, bend around here. Is this like a big room? This is a big room. Okay. Um, interesting. No encounters so far. Oop. Oh no! We got teleported! Oh crap! Alright, um, damn. Uh, okay, how do we get out of here? And we're in another big room. Oh, crap. Alright, what's... Wow, this... Why am I not... Does this, like... Oh, boy. I don't like this. This... I'm facing north right now. And I'm seeing a wall so far away that, um... It has to take me to the other side of the map. Oh, crap. How do I get out of this? Um, all right, let's go east. Oh no, a turn. No. <laughs> oh no. All right, so what am I? Turn, table, square. How do I know which way I'm facing? Um, all right, so I would say I have no idea which way I'm facing. Um. Let's let's get into camp. Let's do a do mapic here. Um, elevator. So she is going to cast do mapic. We might as well check. I'm assuming I'm on the same square as the magic mapping parchment indicates. Yeah, it looks like I am. We are facing north right now, and I don't think that's the case um, with the magic mapping parchment. Okay, so let me get us facing north. Now we're facing north. Um, what? There is, if I go, if I go north, oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea which way to go. All right. Um, I don't, I just don't like north for some reason. I don't. I just feel like we're going to hit a dead end there and then have to come south again. Um, let's face south. And let's go south. I'm thinking, are you kidding me? Another turntable square. Oh, crap. All right. So um, now how the heck? If I look around, <laughs> I'm like equidistant from everything. All right. So we got to get back in camp. And um, whoops. I had the wrong... Wrong window highlighted. All right, so um, let me figure that all out. Let's get into camp. Uh, she's going to run out of Dumapic uh, if we keep hitting these damn turntable squares. All right, Dumapic. She's going to run out of spell points, first level spell points, facing north again. Oh, isn't that swell? Okay, so let's... Uh, um, facing north, let's get out of camp. And get the party facing north on the magic mapping parchment. Okay. Um, now let's... Let's... Uh, what do we do now? Um, what Did I get out of sync somehow? Um, you know what? I think, um, I think I forgot to... I think I... Oh, it's so damn confusing. Let me get into camp again. Let me uh, have elevator cast 
do mapic again, wasting do mapic points here. Mm, crap. Yeah, I never. I'm on. <laughs> okay, so let's get out of camp. Um, and I, yeah, I'm on 17. So let me get back in sync here. All right, so we know, we know there's a. Um, I still think we want to head south. I still think we want to do it. We know there's a turntable square two hours south. Um, let's leave camp. And okay, so we're getting closer to something unless we got turntabled again. Let's um, so that's east, north. I think I don't think we got. I think we're facing south. I don't want to waste another Dumapic. Let's go south again. Oh uh, crap! Now we all right. So I think that's the wall to the south of us. So let's um. I don't think we need to do mapping here. I think we just need to get in sync. Let's get the magic map and parchment, parchment in sync and let's go south again. All right, so damn it. Um, we are we are facing the wall. It does, there's no clear way out. Um, now I don't know, I don't know if that's west, that's east. I would assume that's west and that is east there because but let's let's do a dumapic. Let's get into camp and elevator. Oops, um, elevator spell dumapic facing east. Okay, we're 15 north facing east. Okay, let's get out of camp and let's get the magic mapping parchment in sync. We're facing east. So what do I do here? Do I go east or do I try to go west? How do I get at? <laughs> it seems like there are turntable squares everywhere. Um, first thing I do is highlight the uh, wizardry window as opposed to the magic mapping parchment window. All right, let's try going east. Um, all right, so I flip this bugger, flip this around to the west. Another turntable square. Oh uh, no. All right, so. Um, Let's look west again. Another turntable square. Crap. Are these, is this room just all turntable squares and how do I escape it if it is? Do I just, I should have gone north, shouldn't I have? Oh, damn it. All right, so if we hug the wall though, we'll know, um, or we should, we should know where we are. Um, all right, that's back west, we're facing east. All right, so flip this over west again. Um, let's get the magic mapping parchment. Oops, we should we should be facing west, right? Um, okay, now let's head north, I guess. All right, and we're facing east. Oh my god, this room is madness. Okay. Um, oops, there we go. Let's head north. Now what it, I think it flipped us south. So uh, magic mapping parchment and uh, right now we should be able to face north again and keep going north and it faced us south again. Oh, crap, that damn teleporter. Do not hit that square again. Crap. All right. Um, there's a door. There's a door ahead to the north. Oh, can we get to it? Oh crap, I think it faced the south again. Can we get to the damn door? Another tell, I, I don't know which way I'm looking now. I, I assume I'm not looking north. I must be looking, I must be looking, I can't be looking east because there's a wall. I must be looking west now. So let's adjust west, right? Um, yeah, okay, so. Uh, now we must be facing east. Um, okay, back to the wizardry window. Oh, get me out of here. Please tell me that's it. Oh, okay, now what? Now how do I? All right, so just 
to make sure that I think I am where I think I am, or I am where I think I am. Let's get into camp. Let's have elevator cast do mapic again. All right, we are facing north. All right, let's get out of, let's highlight the uh, wizardry window. Let's get out of camp in the wizardry window. Yeah, this looks like everything syncs up. The wizardry window is telling me on I'm on X seven Y two square, and Dumapic is saying seven east and two north and facing north. Okay, great. So now let's highlight the wizardry window, and let's get out of camp. Okay, now um, we've got a long hallway and a door. I haven't, I've wasted a lot of elevators uh, level one spell points, but otherwise I guess I could continue exploring. Now this must be, this must be, okay, oh, it's a one-way door, damn it. Okay, well, not the end of the world. I should have, I should have explored more of that area because how else am I going to get to that area, that hallway? Unless I go through the torture of the damn room with the turntable. All right, well, whatever. Let's um, let's head back here to the teleporter square area. Um, assuming we can get past the uh, square of impen. Oops, in an encounter. Oof, archmages and men in armor, and thankfully we surprised them. All right, fight the archmages. Fight the archmages. Fight the archmages. Uh, fight the Archmages. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Bad Mike Boss has to parry because he can't. He doesn't have anything to use. And uh, let's let's use Katino on Group One, and you have to parry Elevator. All right. Let's see how it goes. Ten damage. Not slept. Is slept. Nice. Is slept. Is slept. Very nice work, Snarkeezy, and you're finally useful. All right, so you made all of them sleep, except, and hopefully we killed the one that wasn't slept. Archmage is killed. Nice. Okay, so now, fight group one, fight group one, um, fight group one, spell Lidokan. Maybe you should do it, Bamatu. They're men in armor. You better do it, Bamatu. Um, all right, you will use, you will use a Halito, or maybe you could do a Sopic, and, um, well, that would only be on yourself. Damn, I was thinking it was my Sopic. All right, anyway, spell, let's go with Lacanito on group two. Let's see how this goes. Not slain, is slain, very nice. Slain, slain. Slain, slain, I'm liking Lacanito. I'm liking it. Bamatu, very nice, even though there's only one of them left. Archmage is killed, nice. Cast Hopic on herself. Archmage is killed, very nice. Halito, two damage. Uh, not slept, no, please don't sleep, please. Is slept, no, boom, all right. Is slept, is slept. The elevator is slept. Okay. We've got, um, it's three against three. <laughs> fight group one, uh, run the MCA, fight group one, and Snarkeesian, I think you're going to have to fight group two, and we're going to see how it goes. 14 damage, very nice. Misses. Archmage is killed, very nice. Uh, Ryan Miller is slept, damn it. Slept, damn it. Snarkeesian is slept, damn it. Everybody's asleep now, right? Okay. So it's two against two now. All right, so Ryan Miller, fight group one. Gnome de Plume, fight group two. Not slept. It's, oh man, these Catinos are killing me. 12 damage, misses. All right, so everybody, pretty much everybody's awake. Fight group one, fight group one, fight group two. Uh, parry, parry, Let's see how it goes, misses. Archmage is killed, nice. 
Okay, my bossy 12 damage. All right, so we've still got one champ samurai and gnome de plume taking a nap. Fight, 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 parry, parry, parry. Champ samurai is killed. <clears throat> 3,100 experience points, 51 gold pieces, no chest. All right, so we do have we've got an elevator to heal and we've got a reorder. So let's get out of the encounter window. Let's get into camp and um, let's um, let's heal. Well, first let's reorder. Okay, so we are reordered and healed. Let's leave camp. And let's keep going. I think I'm a little out of sync here, but um, now we're in sync. Use the corner there to sync up the magic mapping parchment. All right, will we get an encounter? No, we will not. Okay, so we went through this door and we will stay away from that teleporter square. Holy crap. Okay, so sneak around it here and uncover the rest of this room there's a hallway and another big room no teleporter squares please okay a lot of uh, a lot of real estate on the eighth level is getting uncovered here three men in leather leather and one level five priest okay so Fight group one. Actually, you know what? You better fight group two. Fight group two. Nobody surprised anybody. Um, uh, let's see. What do you spell? Might as well just do a Bamatu. And Snarkeesian, you will parry. Spell, you're going to do another Lacanito. Starting to like that spell. On... Hmm, good question. On group... I thought it was all. So, alright, that's that's one drawback for Lacanito. I thought it was all groups, but okay. Uh, level 5. Did it make it? Level 5 Priest is killed. Um, Man in Leather runs away, runs away. And Man in Leather is slain. Okay, so... Uh, 363 experience points, 61 gold pieces, and no chest. Okay. So, now, um, what were we doing? Let's, let's go, let's uncover these squares here. And hope none of them are teleporter squares. <laughs> All right, I have some big rooms on this level, no doubt. All right, we've got... Another door here, and I think we can risk going through it. We're likely going to get an encounter. Nobody's wounded. Spell points are per in pretty good shape. Oh crap! Did we we got teleported? Oh crap! Oh, I don't think really. Oh no, I don't like level eight. <laughs> All right. I don't know what I I'm assuming I'm still facing I was facing north. Let's get into camp real quick. Let's um do a do mapic. Spell do mapic. 14 east, 19 north, facing south. Okay. That's very good. Um let's get out of camp. And I guess we head south until we find that door again. Maybe? Can't walk through walls. Okay. Are we going to find that door? Nope. We just got teleported. Oh, of course. Because that teleporter square is in front of the door. Oh crap. How do I get out of here? Um, so I should be past that now. Oh, this is so Pavlovian. Okay, can't walk through walls. Now the next square is going to be the teleporter square again. Oh, we made it. All right, eighth level. <laughs> I get it, eighth level. I get the message. I've explored enough of you this, this episode. Okay, fine. I'm going to head back up to the castle 
and count my uh, lucky wizardry stars here that nobody has died and I haven't gotten permanently lost on this level. All right, let's head back up to the castle. And encounter one demon. Wow. All right. Um, boy, this doesn't sound good. Uh, it's... Uh, it is is a demon undead? I don't know. Would would a demon be considered undead? Hmm. All right. Fight group one. Fight group one. Fight group one. Let's try. Uh, let's try dispelling him, Bam Mike Bossy. Um, it's not going to work because he's even if you can dispel demons. He's going to be too high on level. Um, you, nope. Snarkeesian doesn't know spells. She's going to use an item. Alito. Does, does fire work on demons? Aren't they from the fiery pits of hell? Wouldn't that... Uh, well, anyway. All right. Let's go with the Modalto. And let's see how it goes. 24 damage. 6 damage. It does work. Demon resists the Modalto spell. Boy, that's... And fails. 12 damage. Misses. Demon is killed. Whew. Very nice. 850 experience points. 101 gold pieces and no chest. All right, let's get out of the encounter window. And let's continue up to the castle if we can make it. <laughs> okay, I don't think anybody's injured. And let's head up. All right, wow, level eight. Um, that is disorienting madness down there. <sighs> I mean, we're going to have to explore um, sections of it that are damn near impossible to explore. But what are you gonna do? You're gonna, we're, well, at least we got past the uh, square of impending doom. All right, I think, uh, I think Team Impending Doom deserves um, a few drinks and Gilgameshes. Um, and they will have that level 8 next time. And hopefully be able to uh, explore it. It just seems like a level that's going to defy exploration. But, but they got to give it a try. Alright everybody. Thanks for tuning in.